You know when a meal is good when your nose runs. Mm-hmm. And you can hear it in them. <clears throat> Welcome to New England. That's <laughs> great. Good morning, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from beautiful Manchester, New Hampshire, New England, with my boy, Chef Keith Sarsin. Are you ready for today? I'm ready. I'm so excited. We're in Manchester, New Hampshire. It is the largest city in Man in uh, all of New Hampshire, right near the capital, which is Concord. Huge brewery scene, which we might have to, you know, do a brewery or two today. Um, we're gonna have a blast. Yeah. So today we're gonna be eating Indian food for 24 hours in Manchester, New Hampshire. We're gonna hit up two spots, and then at the end of the day, we're gonna go to his house, and he's gonna make for us some biryani. Biryani. Mm. Look right here. Eli nan dosa biryani samosa, and I got right here Atma. That's his pop-up Indian restaurant. Soon he'll be opening up somewhere between here and Boston, right? Absolutely. Can't wait. Uh, check us out atmarestaurant.com. We're gonna have a blast today. I can't wait to cook for you, brother. Ready to do this thing? I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's go eat. And first place we're going to is like literally across the street. It's called Taj Indian Restaurant. And what is this street? So this is Elm Street. Elm Street is a huge, vibrant community of amazing restaurateurs. We got awesome chefs on the street. People like Birch right across the street. We got Ben and Jerry's over yep. here. I know, you, you gotta have some ice cream even when it's cold, because it's a little chilly today. Um, we're gonna have a blast, but more than anything, enjoy the food scene. Manchester's got it going on. Yeah, so this is the downtown area. Right here we have a lot of old buildings. Everything is over 100 years old, roughly, right? Then we have Taj Indian cuisine right there. You have, you know, some of the bigger brands over here to the right, to the left, and then we have the main river that passes through the city We're over there. And what is that called? Yeah, so we got the Amiskeg River, and then that feeds so much. There's this cool bridge out there. We'll give you some cool shots of that stuff. It's gonna be a blast today. This is a fun city, especially if you like beer, and especially if you like really good food. Today's all about Indian food, but we have to throw some beer in there because, if you guys don't know, New Hampshire is famous for their craft beer scene. Over roughly 100 100 breweries in the state. That's insane. It's amazing. But you know what? We're starting off with some Indian food because we both love it. Let's do it. I'm ready. All Indian restaurants usually open up between 11.30 and 2 p.m. and then close and then open again at 5 to like 10 p.m. Yep. That's sort of how it is. Unless it's South Indian food, then it's always open for breakfast. Always. Gotta get it. What's up, bro? What's up, morning? How you doing? Good, good, good. And we're starting off our morning with some incredible chai. It's chai time all the time. time. Mmm. Mmm. Love the cardamom, nice. man. Oh, so That's good. Nice. That's a nice, nice start today. Yeah, nice and frothy. Piping hot, just like they have in India, right? Every time. Mmm. Oh, so good. Don't burn your tongue. I'm not burning my tongue. So we're getting the lunch special tally, basically. Mm -hmm. A lot of different things in it. Yeah. Then we're also getting a lamb samosa. Mm. We're getting two, like, curry dishes. And that's pretty good, because this is the first place. First of many. So, yeah, I have to go. leave a lot of room because we're also gonna drink some beer today. <laughs> <laughs> we've got this, we've got this. We got it, we got it. Oh, this is great. Hey, cheers again. Cheers, brother. Thank you so much, bro. Anytime. All right, David, let's go to the kitchen. Let's see how we make the naan. So we're gonna see how they make some naan and we're gonna see him prepare the tali, right? Yeah. If you guys didn't see, they have a bar here. So if you want alcohol, wine, beer, you know, rum, they got it. Hello, hello. How you guys doing? Hello. <laughs> There's so much stuff happening here right now. Chef's killing it. We've got this beautiful chana, chickpeas. There's so many varieties of chana. Kala chana, black chana. We have the standard chana right now. Beautiful chole that he's doing. We've got a fish tikka masala. We've got so much, and the smells. You guys can't, but oh my God, the smells are insane right now. Can't wait to eat this. Perfect, so we've got a few different curries happening here. Over here to the left, he just made the samosas. So we have the lamb samosas, right? And then what is this? I mean, these are like, like vegetable fritters? Yeah. Alutiki. Oh, that's alutiki, yeah, yeah, but the way you're doing it, so they, they're shaping it, right, yeah. into like little patties. Yeah. Beautiful, I've never seen it like this before. So good, it smells so good in here. The chef here is going ham. I mean, he's making so many different curries. This smells so good. The vegetable curry, you got the fish one as well. This is obviously the, the, chicken, tikka masala. the chicken tikka masala, the sauce, and you have a little bit of chicken in there, and he's using that gravy to mix with a few of the other ones, right? Yeah, mm. yeah the malai 
It smells so good. Oh, my favorite when I cook yeah. those dumplings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. epic. So we have something very special right here. This is chicken naan, it's like yeah. stuffed naan, yes. right? Chicken naan, chicken naan. Incredible. So yes. he stuffed very it. Very good, very good, yes. So he stuffed it with chicken, chicken like yes. shredded chicken, right? Yes. And he threw it into the tandoor for like literally yes. one minute. Very good, very and good. And that's it. Very good. I love this guy. <laughs> Great job, man. Great job. Thank I love you. it, love Thank it. This is so good. I'm yep. about to eat it straight off the pan. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. I burn everything inside. <laughs> Rocking it with Chef over here. He's doing an amazing job. It's just great to learn from somebody like this. So he's gonna plate everything on a tally and we're gonna go eat. David, let's go eat. Let's do this thing. Oh guys, I am excited. This is a lot of food. So good, the staff's amazing. Guys, thank you so much. Appreciate it, appreciate it all. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Ooh. All right, my friends, this is it. This is it. Wow, man, this is this is part one here? Yeah, like, part one. Oh man, so much. So what do we got? We right. have our tally. Yep. So we got rice, we have Chana, so we have chickpeas, we have like a vegetable curry, mm -hmm. and then over here we have like the coro, right? Yup. And then over here, this is chicken tikka masala? Yeah, so we got chicken tikka masala. The, the other name for this is actually sabji. So sabji kind of translates to vegetable. Exactly, sabji. Then we have two different naans. We have garlic naan, mm -hmm. we have stuffed naan with chicken. Amazing, we have Incredible samosa, this one has lamb, right? Yeah, kima. Kima. And then we have three curries. So <laughs> what do we have? I think it's fish tikka. Yes, masala. fish tikka masala, perfect. And what's the other ones? Uh, it looks like we got a beautiful korma over here. Mm -hmm. And then- Malai kofta. We, yes, malai kofta. You know what, let's try this one first. Oh, that's a great, man, it's like you've done this before. <laughs> So my bad, this is not lamb samosa, this is actually potato samosa or aloo samosa, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you're gonna bring it up? Oh, wow, look at that. Oh. Man. Beautiful. It looks absolutely gorgeous. There's beautiful little specks of all these spices in there. Mm, this is gonna be so good. I always dip in tamarind too. Yeah. Tamarind my favorite, bro. I'm the same. Tamarind's so good. Sweet, you, gotta right? you know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Tamarind all day. My second favorite is the coconut one, right? Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Amazing. Dough is perfect, right? Perfect. Mm. Yeah, so it's like super soft, a little crunchy on the outside, yep. crispy as well, mushy. I wouldn't say like too mushy. No, but it's like, it's the perfect level of like spices are in there. Mm -hmm. Not spicy, the spices are perfect in it. Spices, this Man, is what Indy's about, right? I don't know anyone who doesn't love a samosa. <sighs> I don't know, it's crazy. And usually like, you get this at the bus stations, you know, quick, mm -hmm. quick on the go, have two of these a day, easy in India. Ah, oh, perfect. With chai. Mm-hmm. Perfect couple right there. Start right here. Mm. Wow. Mm. All right, I'm definitely gonna limit this because mm -hmm. if not, I'm gonna eat the whole thing, right? Let's go vegetable first. Vegetable? So for this, we're not using hands, we're using utensils. Cheers, bro. Cheers, man. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. When you eat vegetables like this, yeah. you can easily be a vegetarian, right? I was just gonna say the same thing. Mm. So easy to be vegetarian when you have something this good. Mm. Nice and light. So many vegetables in here. I don't know about you, but I didn't get vegetables like this growing up. <laughs> Did you? I wish. <laughs> I can vegetables. Mm. Exactly. You can see a huge piece of clove in yours. Mm -hmm. Huge piece. Nice cauliflower. Mm -hmm. I love this. Very easy, light. You know, it's part of the tally, right? Experience all the flavors, mm -hmm. right? It's absolutely perfect. I think next we gotta go chickpeas, right? I think that's what I was gonna say. It's right next to it. <laughs> Bam. Bam. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mmm, mmm. This one's a little sweeter, right? Yeah, this is nice. Like, you can definitely tell that there's a lot of wonderful spice in it. Mm hmm It's got kind of like that earthy, kind of like, almost like garam masala, like exactly. deep kind of spice flavor to it. But not spicy at all. Not spicy at all. At all. Again, like, that's that misconception. This is, anyone could eat this and be like, there's no spice in this one. Yeah, and so basically this, instead of having the lunch buffet, they have this. Yeah. That's the alternative. It's great. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. You gotta try this, right? The pakora? Yeah. So this is a veg pakora. So basically a vegetable fritter. Mm -hmm. All right. So the beautiful thing about pakoras are they are made with bisan, which is chickpea flour. And uh, really great protein content, really great fiber content to it. And they're absolutely so addicting. Such a great fritter. Gotta dip it in the tamarind sauce, but he knows already what's up. He's a pro. It's not your first Indian experience. This is your eight million. <laughs> Dude, I've eaten more Indian food than any other food in my life. I, you've eaten more Indian food than me, I bet. More, more than Kiwi food. I grew up with that stuff. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh. Mm-hmm. There's so, a dance. Same consistency as mm -hmm. most of the inside, mm -hmm. but outside, very different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Let me dip it right in here again. The thing I love about Bison is it um, it has this like kind of thickness to it, this chew, this like, but it's still crunchy and fried perfectly. The onions pop with the sweetness. It's really absolutely amazing, huh? No, dude, I'm, I'm in awe right now. <laughs> hey, that was one of the best pakoras. Yeah, it's so good. So good, so good. Obviously, paired with the tamarind chutney. Yeah. Mango lassi, lassi. Oh, and you put some stuff on top, so yeah, what do we have there? Some nuts? Cashew. Hit up this lassi. I mean, somebody corrected me, they were like, it's not lassi. It's lassi, lassi. Mmm, mmm, that's one. Not too thick, it's more like a smoothie. Yeah, so is mango your favorite, or do you like the sweet Mango's lassi? my favorite. Really? Mango, dude, mango all day. Mango everything. I'm with I love the sweet lassi, the rose lassi. Oh, yeah. The rose lassi is really nice. If you've never had a rose lassi and you see it on a menu, just go get it. It's and that really one's always gonna be a little more liquidy. Yes, liquidy and it's very perfumey. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Chicken tikka next. Okay, so it's gonna jump in here. Yeah, let's do this thing. Look at this. <laughs> see, this is what, when you know it's good, you got these big old pieces of chicken in there. Huge chunks. Like, they're not messing around. At all. Cheers. Cheers bro. Oh, <laughs> lost mine. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and I love this sauce. I mean, obviously the gravy mm -hmm. makes this dish. Again, national dish of Great Britain. I cannot wait to go. Mm. Easy, not spicy, creamy. Exactly. It has like that tomato paste kind of flavor to it without it being tomatoey. Mm -hmm. Man, nailed that dish. So one of the best things about Indian food, and I cannot encourage you guys enough, is you have to get beautiful garlic naan or some bread. And known for breads, but one of my favorite parts right here, you rip that beautiful piece of naan, you dunk it in that gravy. Look at this, look at this. This bite is going to be out of this world. Mm. Get all that, all that gravy. This is what makes Indian food so special. Mm. Gotta go back for another. No, it's funny because, you know, in the Western world, we love this dish. It's the intro to the Westerners to Indian food, right? But, to be honest, it's one of the most delicious dishes on planet Earth. And you can always change the protein, and if you wanna go veg, paneer, that's it. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Boom, killing it. So we have some stuffed naan with chicken. Whew. Wow. My man, I'm excited. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. So how do we do this? Easy. You're doing it a different way than me. <laughs> I always rip. I'm so used rip. to that. Yeah, I've gotten used to doing this. That's the way, he's doing the authentic way. The authentic way, man. So what do you want to try first? The I veg? See, yeah, let's go with the veg. Oh, is that a big piece of penny right there? Oh, oh, that looks good. Look at this. Cheers, bro. Cheers, man. Mm. Something about stuffed naans, man. The textures, flavors. Wow. Yeah, a little doughy, right? Yeah. Not it's so perfect, crispy. Yes. And soft, you know? Mm. Yeah, it's super like super soft. soft. It's almost like kulcha. Yes. It, like you have that sort of like. For sure. Oh, it's that, that beautiful softness to it. There's so many layers, flaky yeah. too. Right. So, what do you want to do next? Uh, let's go fish. Fish? Here we go. Cheers, Bang. buddy. Mmm. Mmm. So soft, the fish. So beautiful white fish, mm -hmm. um, and which is nice because like, for me, you don't want something too fishy. You don't get any fishiness out of that, right? Yeah, yeah, you don't. You're getting this That's beautiful, salty. like, it's like covered in that gravy, marinated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And next we got my favorite thing ever. Ever, huh? Nah, I mean, it's one of my favorites. Malai Kofta. You got a lot of different versions of it. I will say, I'm a little sad. I thought your favorite was, was the chili paneer. Oh, okay. Because I'm making chili paneer for them. You'll see that. That's that's my favorite. That's my true <laughs> favorite dish. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Nothing like this dumpling right here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The malai kofta is incredible, but I love the fish. So melai kofta, beautiful, beautiful dish. Melai means cream. Mm -hmm. uh, the kofta part of it is uh, you got potatoes, typically paneer, cashew, and it, create, it creates almost this like meatball, you know, mm -hmm. for kind of lack of better term there. Western audience might understand that side of it. But it's just packed and it's so beautiful in this creamy, rich sauce that has melai or cream in it. Amazing. And well guys, we just did it. Our first spot, we ate everything so good, delicious. I think we're gonna have to walk for a little bit, probably have a beer before the next spot. Definitely. It's only noon, so we did this pretty quick. Stay tuned, it's gonna get real. This plus chai, perfect way to end it. Perfect. Thank you so much, Chef. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. thank you. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, appreciate thank you. it. Thank you. The man. It's 12.30, we're pretty stuffed. Yeah. We're gonna go to another restaurant, but I think we need a mini break. We're gonna walk around downtown, maybe get a beer, you know, again, 
craft beer capital of America. We got so, it. New England, New England. New England for sure. In terms of food, we might go to a Nepalese restaurant that recently opened called Anapura. Yeah, absolutely. And Nepalese food is absolutely delicious. So you guys are in for a heck of a ride right now. So we walked for a little bit, got in the car, and we drove about 10 minutes out to see this river. So which one is this? So this is uh, Amaskeg. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, the river is really high right now. We've had a lot of rain. Um, man, this is one of my favorite parts of the entire city. And all this is mill building over here. It's really beautiful. And uh, they turn it into artist lofts, uh, university, and also great restaurants. So go check it out. Wow, look at this river. Gorgeous. So this is an old bridge, right? Yeah, so that's one of the old bridges torn out a billion years ago, replaced with this. This is where you see a lot of fireworks at 4th of July. There used to be concerts and everything all in this area. It's a really nice part of the, the uh, entire city. Perfect weather, it's like 54 degrees this morning, a little chilly. Gorgeous. Now the sun has come out, it is perfect. Absolutely. Look at this, this is autumn, right? So fall, you see the colors, all the, all the trees are just like red, yellow, green. I mean, just a big mix, beautiful river. I mean, I can just chill here. This is a perfect New England day, guy. Perfect. Love New England, bro. Where's Ben Affleck at? Matt Damon. <laughs> okay, guys, we saw the river. Let's get back in the car and go eat some more food. After a quick five-minute drive, we're here at the center of town, and we're going to go eat at Annapurna, Nepalese food. Can't wait. And this is the restaurant, Anapura. Perfect. Nailed right. it first shot. Nailed it. Awesome. So, very simple restaurant, right? So, red walls. You got some TV screens. They're all playing stuff from Nepal. And then, we're going to the back. You guys ready? Let's we're go. Ready. How are you doing, Chef? Everything good? Yeah. Here you go, my man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We're excited. The chef is going to make some amazing food here. Ooh. This kitchen is beautiful. Beautiful. Spotless, dude. Huge. So, what are you making here, Chef? Uh, chicken tommy. So you know, I've only eaten Nepalese food once, and that was in Bhutan. Chili momo is my absolute favorite dish. So good. Nepalese food. Nepalese food, and you can see the Chinese influence, the Indian influence, one of the best cuisines on the planet. Go eat Nepalese food. Wow. That's the thing that's beautiful about that dish. That was crazy. So vinegar is hitchy. Exactly. When it hits oil, it blooms. Oh my god. It's gonna be spicy? What do you think? Medium? Medium, yeah. Yeah, medium. Go spicy, go spicy. It's gonna have that kick. With the aroma. The aroma is insane. Chef, you are the man. Okay, thank you. Follow me in the kitchen, I'm always in your way. <laughs> so this is what he's making, matar paneer. Matar, Hindi word for peas. Paneer, obviously we love paneer, paneer. So this dish is gonna be super creamy, this malai, or cream in it. Uh, you're gonna have all this wonderful flavor. Get ready for a great, great, great dish. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you, thank you. My man, thank you, I appreciate thank you. it, Look, appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. I'm excited. <laughs> Nepalese food in Manchester, New Hampshire. It's gonna be epic. Do it. Right, I hope you guys like it. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Love the music, feeling the ambiance here. The food looks so good. I'm most excited for this one. Yeah, I think that's what we start with because it's kind of this classic Nepalese. When I think of Nepalese food, I think of momos. Yeah, you every just, time. They're like the best thing ever. And these are chili chicken. Uh, chili chicken or chili paneer? Chili chicken. Chili chicken. And here we have chicken chow mein. Yep. You remember what this one is? So it's green peas with paneer. Perfect. The peas are called matar in matar. Matar. Yep, so okay. matar paneer, beautiful dish. And then we've got some wonderful garlic naan. Whew, another feast. Another feast. And we limited it. We asked them for, you know, keep it at four. If we're gonna do seven, it'd be a lot right now. We've only had like an hour and a half in between meals. Yeah. So, yeah, but it's gonna be awesome. So uh, we're starting with this one, right? Starting with the momos. Do we just eat it like this? Yeah, so I, uh, I love these things, so I'll take it, fork, knife. A lot of people, depending on the size of the Momo, but this gives you that nice filling right in there. So they do this with goat, they do this with buffalo, and they do this with paneer? And paneer, yep. I'm doing a whole. Here we go. Not too spicy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically, a fried Momo, mm -hmm. a stuff with chicken. Yep. Mixed in some chili sauce, right? Sweet paste. Yeah, and it's it's vinegary, it's spicy, you feel the spice build a bit, mm -hmm. tingles on your tongue a little bit. Oh wow. It's got soy sauce. It's a wonderful dish that incorporates Chinese technique, Chinese flavors with a lot of Indo. So they call it Indo-Chinese. Exactly. And it creates this incredible thing. Nepalese mm -hmm. food, unbelievable. It's amazing. I need to go to Nepal one day. Comment, let me know, should I go to Nepal, where should I go? Mm -hmm. Obviously Kathmandu. Doctor Strange was there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to have another one, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Next up, we're just gonna dip the garlic naan into this incredible curry. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Wow. 
Beautiful. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice and creamy. Mmm. Dude, I'm gonna get a big paneer. Look at that. Oh, this is the bite right here. That's the bite. Uh, mm. <laughs> yeah. Nice and soft, this one. Not too yeah. yeah, that's the best. It's a mark of a good paneer. A nice, soft paneer. Mmm. So good. This garlic naan is like lights out good. Wow. Mm. What a good naan. Mmm. Mmm. This is one of the better naans I've ever had. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. The spice level is great, right? Mm -hmm. Said medium. You can ask for a little more of a kick if you want. Yep. But oh, whoa, I'm just gonna dip a little more, man. Got him. This is fantastic. That's like one of the best parts of this dish because it like it's just so creamy and it offsets some of the heat of the dish. Mm -hmm. Then you get that garlic, that crunch. It's everything. Dude, the paneer, mm -hmm. that big, chunky paneer. Mm-hmm. I need another piece. All right. Huge bite. Huge bite. You ready? Let's go. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Come here mm -hmm. for this dish. This one specifically. I love the other one, but this is crazy good. Mm -hmm. It's amazing with Indian food because you can have a matara paneer dish at one place, have it another, and it's so different. The chef did a great job of just layering this creaminess, this beautiful fattiness that works so well with this garlic naan. That's literally one of the best garlic naans I've had in a long time. Dude, I, I'm sorry I'm double dipping, but... It's okay. Wow. Whew. All right. Ooh, this is going to be epic. So good. This is one thing you never find in Indian cuisine. You have to have Indo-Chinese, right? Nepali. Here we go. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. I love how thick they are. Not too hot. So it's a chicken inside here, right? Yeah, so we got chicken. The masala, the spices are just so good. Oh, dude, it's going through like the whole right? thing. Tingling a little bit. Oh, man. Whoa. Exactly what you think it would be. Perfect, like, Chinese noodles meets Indian spices and the perfect marriage. But then the spice level is starting to get hot. Look at my head. I'm sweating. I'm starting to sweat here. I'm sweating. Wow. <laughs> and we told him medium. We told him medium. Well, yeah, what we, happened if we, we also like, said, we also said we like spice. So yeah. I think he upped it a little bit. Because sometimes you just want that little that feeling. You, I would yeah. say, we know a, a meal is good when your nose runs. Mm hmm And you can hear it in them. Mm. Welcome to New England. <laughs> it's great, especially with the cold outside. This is what you need. Warm you up. Need. Yeah. And then a nice uh, stout or something after. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might like beer. I like beer a lot. <laughs> well, what a great day. Mm. Manchester, who would've known, huh? He served himself a tiny bit. He served me like the whole plate. I, know. <laughs> I did it on purpose. He's like, oh yeah, we'll be fine with this one. Eating Indian food for 24 hours, it's like, you gotta train for this. I trained. He did. <laughs> you think I would train, but like, it's more than meets the eye. It's also why you get Raita. Exactly. Raita cools it down. Cools it down. The cool thing about eating really spicy food in summer too in India, a lot of the reason they'll eat spicy, is it opens up your pores, you sweat, the breeze, boom, it'll oh. cool you down. Crazy. Didn't, didn't know that. It's almost like they knew what they were doing. Yeah, <laughs> almost, right? <laughs> they also like drink piping hot chai in piping hot conditions, you know? Yeah. It's crazy. Respect. <laughs> Respect to India. Everything about it, chili chicken momos, some of the best I've ever had. Right. Thank you. So if you're looking for authentic Nepalese food in Manchester, New Hampshire, come here. Amazing food. The ambiance is great, really yeah. relaxing, and you have a bar, right? Yeah, we bought it also. So yeah. wine, beer, yeah, they got yeah, it all. Yeah, yeah. Man, the momos, the chow mein, yeah. Yeah. so good, so good. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it, Chef. One of the cool things about a lot of Indian restaurants and food from the subcontinent is you have this beautiful thing right here. This is aniseed, it's candy, it's licorice -y. it's really good for digestion. So you pop a little after your meal, freshens your breath, and it's good for your digestion. Just get a little bit like that, just pop it. Chew it up. Mm -hmm. Chew, piss through. And I heard something that when people didn't have toothpaste, toothbrush, they would use this, you know, freshen the breath. Mm. Mm. So good. I'm pretty full, man. <laughs> I know you're pretty full too. I actually limited myself today. I took it a little easier because I went on a crazy one in Persephone yeah. where I ate like 3,000 calories in a day and I didn't feel good. You know? It's time to go do a walk and then uh, we'll figure it out from there. For sure.
All right, so we took our walk, and now I want to bring you for one of my favorite beers on the planet. It's a brewery called Kelson in Derry, New Hampshire. They make this Paradigm Brown Ale that won a ton of awards. Dude, you're going to love it because you love dark beers, too. And by the way, just so you guys know, on Tuesdays, most breweries in Manchester are closed. Just remember that. This one is open, but it's not located here in Manchester, but only like a 15-minute drive, right? Yeah, Brown Ale, man. Dude, it's seriously so good. I can't wait. Like, we need to film just you taking that first sip because watch out of this world. Can't wait. Kelson. Kelson Brewery. Such a good place, man. You're in for a treat right now. Wow, look at what they have on tap. So they have Space Town, Day Rider, Battle Axe IPA. Yeah. So the brown ale, that's the one we're talking about? Paradigm brown ale. Paradigm brown ale. 7%, right? So everything is pretty good. 5 to 7%. Let's do this. And this is it. Paradigm, right? Paradigm from Kelson Brewing Company. Kelson, thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs> what is this? It's amazing, huh? Where has been all my life? Isn't that amazing? This is the best brown ale of all time. <laughs> I told you. The uh, really small company out of Derry, New Hampshire. They've been making this for a while, won a bunch of awards. It's just deliciousness in every sip. It's so good. It's nice and crisp. It's not too malty. Yep. I love brown ales. That's very British, right? Yep. Ales, if you guys don't know, ales and lagers, too different. Bottom fermentation, mm -hmm. hot fermentation, and ales creates everything. Basically, yeah. IPAs, red ales, uh, stouts, porters, everything stems from the ale family, and that comes from Great Britain. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, buddy. Mm. Wow. Oh, I can't wait. After this, we're going back to his house, and we're gonna eat some biryani. Time to put on the old chef coat and go to work, huh? Oh, finally, finally, <laughs> get to see you in action. This is gonna be awesome. I can't wait, I hope you're hungry, uh, yeah. We're gonna wait a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna wait. <laughs> I wanna have dinner like a night night. <laughs> <laughs> Authentic biryani, and uh, not a bad day. Not a bad day, cheers again. Thank you, bro. Cheers, man. Thank you. New Hampshire, incredible. I love it, man. Isn't it really good? So good. Kelson Brewing is open every single day from noon to 8 p.m. and on Fridays and Saturdays to 10 p.m. Biryani time. Beer is done, now we're going to his house, and we're gonna make some biryani. Straight from the pot. Here we go. All right, today we're making some biryani. Uh, I am so excited to have you in my kitchen, brother. Uh, biryani has so many different styles. This is kind of a style that I love, Hyderabadi biryani. Uh, it's known because it's a ground masala. It's got a little bit of spiciness to it. It's not too over the top, but the flavors are delicious. We're gonna be doing lamb, actually, in the biryani. And uh, this is lamb that was raised right here in New Hampshire. So good, you're gonna have a blast. First step is we really gotta soak basmati rice. Basmati rice has a nice long grain to it and our job is to actually soak it and wash it really good. You're gonna wanna wash it till the water runs clear. That's a lot of washing. You like kind of massage the rice and like make like a fist. Okay. And that releases a lot of the starch and impurities to it. Like what you're trying to do basically is just get that rice nice and clean. So it's just like over and over again, you keep doing that with the rice. Just yeah, keep, keep soaking it. it with your hands, like you're squeezing it and making that fist. I'm gonna see the water and it's gonna start to get really nice and clear here. One of the most important steps in getting really good rice is washing it correctly. We're gonna add some spices and we're gonna make this thing so good. All right, so we're gonna use some whole spices here. We're gonna flavor this biryani while we're cooking it. So this is gonna be so good. This rice is gonna get these whole spices. And what I like to do is I like to use these little muslin cloths right here, and I'm gonna fill this with spices. That way, tighten this thing up just like that. Now we have this beautiful, beautiful little bag filled with spices. You can smell it, it smells amazing. It'll impart all that flavor on the rice. You don't have to worry about picking out all of the pieces. So we have the rice, we have the lamb, we added you know, these two different spices. Mm -hmm. Now what, what's next? So next we're gonna start cooking this rice. One of the big things about biryani is it's really easy to overcook the rice. If you were gonna make rice and just for the table, what'll happen is that rice will be too soft. The reason is, remember, you gotta cook biryani rice twice. Once like this that we par cook, and then again when you're steaming it off. That's called the dumb style of biryani. Next, we're gonna start to add some fragrance to this rice. One of the little tricks, this right here. This time, David's gonna throw in some rose water, so you're just gonna add a little tiny bit. Ready? Boom. That's it. That's it. Right, that's it. That's all the rose water we need? Really, really potent. Throw we're gonna add, up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna add some other things, too. Ready? We're gonna open this spice drawer. This, Kirwa. Kirwa is a beautiful essence. It's another really fragrant. Oh, smells absolutely delicious. Same thing, just a little, oh, boom. Lamb, all we got is ginger garlic paste, green chilies. We have a special biryani mix in there. And then we let that go nice, low and slow. 
gets that beautiful pull apart texture. That's our biryani. This lamb looks so good. Am I gonna eat this? Yeah, you are. Right? Like, oh. <laughs> That's crazy. It's not amazing. That's so fresh. So we got some milk here and we're gonna warm up this milk slightly and this right here, that is saffron, the most expensive spice in the world. An entire crocus, which is one of the flowers, you only get three of those tiny little strands. Three, that's it. So you think about the labor, there's no machine that can do it. It all has to be picked by hand. We're gonna take some saffron here. Good amount right there. We're gonna do a little bit more because I love the flavor of saffron. And what you're gonna see is you're gonna see it start to bleed out, right? It gives this nice orangey kind of yellow color. And we're gonna take the back of a spoon. I'm just gonna help it along by pressing it right with the back of a spoon. This is gonna give it this beautiful color that's gonna be used to help fragrant the biryani, but also give it some color. The reason why biryani is the king of dishes is because of this. Cleopatra used to bathe an entire pool of this, right? Yep, absolutely. Crazy. And, and just smell. Oh, wow. Isn't that fragrant? So much. Isn't that incredible? Oh, incredible. That's really? the mark of a good biryani. That fragrance that comes out from not only the rice, but the rose water, the kirwa. Oh man. I smell the rose. That's like, right? it, it's like an abundance of rose right there. And so the way that we offset a lot of that floral is we're gonna add some deep flavors like fried onions. Be ready. Amazing. Here we go, the rice is perfect. It's about 50% done. A lot of times in biryani, there's fried onions, which you'll still see right here. We still do fried onions, but these two textures are something that I like to do with it. Gives it a sweetness, also gives it that crunchiness. We're gonna take some rice right here, and we're just gonna layer it right in the bottom. We're gonna take some of this wonderful lamb. So this is all the renderings from the lamb as well. This is ghee, all the lamb is cooked in ghee. You don't typically see a lot of mint and all these things that you see in layers. What I'm doing is I'm covering the meat right now, and then I'm gonna start putting on this layer of this beautiful, beautiful caramelized onions. Now some of the crunchy onion. Start adding a little bit of our saffron infused milk. The word for milk in Hindi is dood. Some more rice. Spread that right out. You know, it's funny, like Westerners, you guys will relate when you do lasagna, right? It's just layering. A really good biryani has all those nice layers to it as well. Find bones from lamb, take them right out. I mean, India, you always have the bones, right? Always have the bones. Always have the bones. It's easy to still marinate it in the bone and take the bone out. That's what slow cooking onions does. It's like onion jam at this point. Our layer of fried onions. And then finally our last layer. You ready? Oh, wow. yeah, let's do it. You wanna do the honors? I'll do it, I'll do yes, it. Yes, there we go. Chef David Hoffman in the house tonight. <laughs> First time. <laughs> and just give it, pat that down in there and just give it a nice layer. You're gonna want a nice, yeah, there you go. Just like flatten it. Flatten it, exactly. Ooh, it's still freaking hot. It is. You gotta get those kitchen hands. Ooh. So how do you do this? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's perfect. Is it good? That's perfect. Our last little bit of saffron milk. The fried onion on top. This onion jam just kicks this thing up at a whole different level. Here's the thing, you're in a kitchen, so you know what you get to do? Try it. Caramelized onion. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> oh, that's unreal. A couple things I like to do to finish biryani, as I'm a big fan of cilantro, I really like cilantro microgreens on there. But these uh, cilantro microgreens are neat because a lot of people who have the aversion to cilantro and thinks it tastes like soap, doesn't work that way all the time. And then finally, as always, we finish with just a little bit of salt. You don't need much. Boom. Now we're ready to put the cover on this. Put this in a really low temperature. You're gonna let that go nice and low and slow for about 20 minutes or so. Don't open the pot. So this is a dumb style of biryani. Uh, one of the things that you don't see is you don't see the dough wrapped around. The reason is the La Crusettes have a pretty heavy top and I'm not steaming this too long. There's two styles of biryani with this. One's raw and then one is cooked. Clearly you saw that I did a cook style of biryani. That's way, that way it makes it a lot shorter. You can get it a lot quicker, eat a lot quicker. This is a fun style, make sure you try it. Okay, so one of the best moments when you open a biryani is when a steam hits you in the face, <laughs> right? After you, man, okay. you gotta get that smell. Oh my God, look at the smell here. And now, oh yeah. The best condiment 
in the world for Hyderabadi biryani is this, Mirchi Kasalan. It is made with coconut, it's made with sesame seed. It is so delicious and when you put it on the rice, mm, lights out. The moment of truth. Moment of truth. Let's do this. For you, my friend, we got this beautiful biryani. You guys have no idea the aroma coming out of that pot. God, it looks so good too. And we're doing this traditional style. Traditional style. And then I think, I'm gonna put a little bit of this on your plate, right on the side. Okay. And then let me know what you think. Cause to me, this is a really great accompaniment. A lot of people will use raita, things like that. Mm. Isn't that delicious? Mm. So it's, is this similar to sambar? Uh, no, so it's, it's actually mirchi kisalan. Uh, like I said, it's made with coconut. It's made with, um, right. with some sesame seed. It's like fried off. It's got beautiful curry leaves in it. But it's and like a stew or soup. Yeah, right. kind of. And it, it's kind of an accompaniment for the biryani. You mash it all together. Mm. Okay, you want to see how I do it, huh? Yeah. Oh, yes. And so mix it all in. Mix it all in. Mm-hmm. Oh, so good. Wow. There's a lot of fattiness to that lamb. Oh, the heat right here. <laughs> Whoa. Cheers. Shoot, bro. Bang. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. What do you think about that? Oh, man. I need a second to enjoy it. Oh, oh, damn good, huh? It's amazing. Dude, the lamb. The lamb makes it. Yep. Right there. Whoa. And it's about cooking that lamb, rendering it down slowly. All the lamb fat gets in and cooks all these grains of rice. Do you get that aroma? That's when the rose comes out. You get the kirva. You get all those wonderful, fragrant flavors. It's crazy. Isn't that delicious? So good. And this is dinner. This is dinner. Mm. After a, a long day of eating Indian mm -hmm. food, we come back. Oh, man. Just chow down. Mm. We got all that for tonight? Yep. Give me seconds. Whoa. Isn't that good? Dude, I don't even know how to compare it. You know, I've had a lot of behind my life. Yeah. And this one's very unique. It is. This is. And, you know, having that fresh lamb, caramelized onions, that mm -hmm. changes the game as well. Thing, like, you don't want to take something as iconic as biryani and try to, like, make it fried rice. Because it's no, not no. fried rice. It's a completely different dish. Never say that. Exactly. Never fried rice. This is something that's elevated to the millionth degree. I need some more. <laughs> it's for sure, for out. sure. No, it's too good. There, right there. Whoa. Boom. Maybe a tad bit more. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It's different. It is. I like the coconut. Yep. Mm hmm And it gives this like nutty taste to the dish. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Ooh, look at that. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Like how soft that lamb is. So tender. Mm -hmm. You know it's good when you're going for seconds, huh? Mm -hmm. That's great about eating with your hands, is you always get that perfect bite, right? Mm -hmm. You can always get that perfect amount. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's why biryani is one of the best dishes. Don't fill up too much, because we got dessert. What? I know, I know. We gotta represent. You're a guest. Gotta bring, you, gotta bring the heat. What is it? Mango lassi cheesecake. What? Yeah. Never heard of that. So we do a mango lassi cheesecake, uh, beautiful mango puree on it. Uh, girlfriend and I make it, and it is to die for. It's also gluten-free. We use this beautiful ginger snap crust. Get ready. I love cheesecake. Oh, man. Can't wait. This looks crazy. So to finish it off, we got a mango lassi cheesecake. It's something that my girlfriend and I do um, for people that we love. And so the uh, the top is actually uh, shredded up coconut burfi. Oh my god! And uh, it's really delicious. That's my warning. It's really like really delicious. It's like too much. It's yeah. like decadent, it's right? Perfect. Oh Ready? Gosh, yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Isn't that incredible? <laughs> that was like mango last and cheese cake and coconut just like all just Boom. blending together. And you're a cheesecake fiend, I hear. Uh, I like cheesecake. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a big, well, that, sweets wise, yeah. cheesecake, key lime pie, I mm, love. Key lime pie. Oh God. And as I was wrapping up our 24 hours of eating Indian food in Manchester, New Hampshire, not England. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. Yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So good. And the crust is gluten free on it. We use a ginger snap crust. That's really delicious. Man, isn't that delicious? It is beyond. <laughs> I have like no words. 
for this. Whoa, it has to be at your restaurant. You, it's got to be at the restaurant. We're just gonna refine it a little bit, but oh my the gosh. flavors are just gorgeous, huh? Man, what a combination. Mm. Thanks, man. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. We had a long day eating Indian food here in Manchester. We hit up one, two, three, was four spots, basically. Yep. So we start off at Taj, amazing food there, never earning spread. Mm. Then after I went to Annapurna. Yep. Yeah, Annapurna. You know, we had Nepalese food, really delicious. Mm. Then we hit up a brewery to have an incredible brown ale, which I wanted to show you because this place is all about craft beer up in New England. Mm -hmm. And then we came to his house, he showed me how to make some biryani, you know. Oh, I have no words to describe that. The lamb, mixed with caramelized onions, are so good. And then, I mean, dude, you, you kill me with this one. It, like, I, I don't love sweets. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take this home. <laughs> Please do. Please do. Mm. Well, back at it tomorrow. We're gonna need a good night of sleep. Tomorrow we're doing all day right here, cooking a feast. And guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. It's kind of my channel for more awesome travel content. Please follow him right here. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Dude, I am gonna finish it. <laughs>